when people think about a four-door Aston Martin these days, they think about the Repeat. But before the Repeat, there was the Lagonda. In 1975, nobody had ever seen anything like that. The cars were very decorative, were overbodied, uh, often ill-proportioned. And the Lagonda is the opposite of that. It is the essence of purity of line and simplicity. I was the kid who was always drawing cars in class. It's the dream that I had when I was in college. I was studying car design and we used to sneak to the car dealership at night, the Aston Martin dealership, and look through the window and, and I'd think, oh, maybe one day I can get one of those cars and now I have one of those cars. As a designer, when I look at the Lagonda, it's considered to be a classical proportion. So that means that the car is two wheels high and then there are three wheels in wheelbase. The Lagonda is one of the few four-door cars in the world that has that feature. The wheelbase is very long, the ride is extremely smooth, and you'll notice that the tires are very tall, so you don't feel any imperfections in the road. It handles extremely well for a car of that era, almost like it, as they say, uh, is on rails. It's really a fun car to drive. The Lagonda was the product of the situation that Aston Martin was in. 1974, they were bankrupt. An American investor named Peter Sprague, who was 34, he came in and bought the company. His idea was to come out with the most advanced space age car that anyone could imagine. The first car ever to have digital instrumentation, capacitive sensing, touch switches. Uh, it was something that no one had ever seen before. It looks like a giant calculator in front of you. And you feel like you've been transported to the 80s. Red LEDs, and there's also some white ambient light, which really gives a warm glow. It's a handmade car. It has a lot of planar surfaces in it. And the windshield is at an extraordinary angle, and it's also extremely flat. And it's also from the era uh, before all automotive glass had UV coatings. So it gets breathtakingly hot inside. But that's not a problem because the Lagonda has two air conditioners because so many of the original owners were Middle Eastern royalty and it was called the Desert Touring Package. Ownership history of Lagonda reads like a who's who of third world dictators, criminals, despots, and the titans of industry. Idi Amin, Papa Bongo, Saddam Hussein are mixed in with Malcolm Forbes and British royalty for a car that cost $150,000 in 1984. It had to be good. I drive it as much as I possibly can. Just yesterday, I put over 300 miles on it and I've driven it as much as 900 miles in a weekend. It is utterly reliable. I'm not suggesting to anyone that it is the world's greatest car design, but it's one of the world's purest car designs. It's absolutely of the era in which it was designed. I'm never gonna sell the car. It's my dream car. For me, it represents more than just transportation. My name is Richard Vaughn, and this is why I drive.